So are you ready for episode two? Or are we? Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to play any. I like it's one of the things where like it just ended where you're like this could be going somewhere, but then like you go back to the like the movement like when I was dodging logs. Was a little more interactive than just like clicking on everything that had word beside it. Was that an improvement to, to you, or was that the game saying, "No, I'm gonna make you dodge obstacles"? It so. wasn't an improvement, but it's way better than just like you're in a room with eight things to click. One of them will get you what you want. Yeah. Well, that last a action segment, it did something interesting, is in that it gave you the teleport ability. Right. Right. And, yeah. And so that was nice. Because when you reverse time, you. Don't you stay in the same spot. You know, and maybe I think what I'm going to do is take that on board and allow that to define teleportation for me. Like when, you know, when someone now teleports, like, from henceforth, from this point forward, when I see teleportation in fiction, what I'm going to see is that person walking up to whatever happened and then backing up time right. and then arriving there. That's what right. blink is. Yeah, More and then okay. and then when I see teleportation, I'll get really bored. Yeah. Like, oh god. Yeah. Like, Interstellar. <laughs> I know what you had to do, and I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they actually traveled seventy five thousand years. Man, you can teleport. Yeah. Trust me, it's <laughs> not as cool as <laughs> <Yeah>. it sounds. <laughs> yeah. Uh so overall impression? I'm surprised it's at, has any level of positive review. Uh, I maybe this isn't my type of game. Is that I an feel like if you played this first without us here, you would have told us no. how awesome this game was. No, you That's, really you might have. Yeah, the more I think we so. talk to each other, the more I realize you know nothing. About you would have been like, it. no, <laughs> see, I feel. you're in high school, no. and you can rewind time. This and Persona it's like rewinding totally, time twice. This and Persona are two different things. It's not the same thing at all. Like this is more elaborate than Persona. No, their eyes were way too small, and oh my the visual detail was a bit You could play Persona and then tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> That's an option. Yeah, I... You have about half of an opinion. No, I'm I'm playing a game already right now, and I don't... I, and I don't... Yeah. You said Persona is, it's Persona. Persona is a handheld franchise up to this point, and it's about no, to come it to big console. No, it was console, and then they put it on... They made ports for 3 to Vita and 4... To, no, three to PSP and four to Vita. Oh, uh, okay. Well, um, I think I'm gonna pass on it. I haven't turned it on my oh, PS3 and right. well, this is not what years. Persona's like. I so. it's no, I know. That's... You know what's the crazy thing about this? I was thinking. I mean, there's the obvious comparison, but did you like the movie Napoleon Dynamite? Yes. And yes, anyone who didn't that's like that's a high school movie. Yeah. That's right? the high school movie. Yeah. And it's weird that we can sit here and criticize high school uh, so much, but here's an example. Nah. What, what's, how, seriously, though, what's the difference? I mean, it's obvious, but what was the Yeah. Difference? So Napoleon Dynamite was super bad without the profanity. And, well, and super bad wasn't based in the school really so much. But I feel like the that movie, Napoleon Dynamite and Superbad, because they're kind of the same thing, they they were the closest to actually getting at the way kids behave. And I know Napoleon Dynamite was very, mm -hmm. it was different. It, one, there there was, I don't think there was a lick of profanity in the entire movie. But I feel like this, this. Is this not how kids behave? I feel like this I hope not. is I what I can't handle that. <laughs> I feel like this well, after is after you move to Puget, this is what your kids are gonna go yeah. through. Yeah. The <laughs> the perception I think this is an adult's perception of children and then trying to communicate with kids, right? So like if you I don't know, I feel like I feel like this is it sounds like a high school teacher trying to talk how the kids talk. Okay, so in anime, the rule is... Oh, this is good. Thank you. If you're 16, you're 18. If you're 17, you're 24. And if you're 18, you're 30. That's how... So dog like, years. That's how it works in uh, film as well. Yeah, like that's how they do... Like, so... Like, have you ever seen Brick? Uh, <laughs> that's, no. You, that's I an mean, obvious example of where... People right. act way too old for their, and then their like, physical age. And then, like, the delinquent is, like, 35. Like, he, like... I mean, like, these people, like... Ha like, the the seniors have, like, jobs running 
corporations. Like it's right. uh, like the so the it is it has high school things and it does have like that type of fanboyness, but like it's not this. Like this would be like that. You know, those chicks would be like running corporations. Like that rich chick would like for her to be rich in an an most of those anime, she would have to be like you know, like the third most richest person on the planet. Like, yeah. Or she wouldn't have that attitude. Like, and this is why you're making the case that anime is better. No, I'm just saying why. Well, no, I'm no. Uh, you don't. You can't. Okay, I think Breaking Bad and Black Dolphins are about the same. I haven't seen Breaking Bad, but from what I have oh, seen, it's about God, the same. I'm so have glad you, guys, you said that. Have you guys seen Brick? <laughs> you have, I think. Well, I've, I've I'm not saying that's what you're doing with anime. Like, you haven't watched it, but you know what it is. I have. I've seen the greats. <laughs> like, that's like saying like. All you've seen is Coppola movies. You don't know anything about movies. Well, you're right. I don't know a lot about it. You don't but even I've know seen, you've seen the great, the good ones. You haven't seen, um, you haven't seen the, the top. Most people consider the top three. What's that? You haven't seen um, movies, not shows. Yeah, top three. Oh, yeah. movies is totally different. What are you? I'm watching. I, I don't, don't want to sit down and I, watch yeah. a 50 hour. I'm not. I understand, but I'm show. not watching like movies of high school kids. I'm watching 25 episode shows. I don't can't even. Think How does that work? You're like, I'm not spending two hours watching <laughs> high school kids. Yeah. I'm no, spending what 40. I'm saying, like, so the, the greatest ones are Evangelion, usually is on the list. Okay. Cowboy I think I've Bebop. seen an episode of both of those. Evangelion is so good. You can't even. It's, it's better than 99% of the movies that came out last year. Now, they made years. a movie of that. Too, right? No, I thought they did. Oh no! Okay, the movie is not a live action movie, but a oh a okay. feature length. So what episode. they did was the ending. Of, we'll get off the topic real quick. The ending of Evangelion was a happy ending. Like it's about a boy like finding his happiness, and he's like, and everyone's like at the end going, "Good job, good job!" Like they're all clapping his hands, and it fades to white. So the so guy, you're just telling me how that's one of the greats, and it ends listen, with everyone clapping. Listen, this fade is what to made white. it the great. So he gets death letters and stuff saying you messed this up it was so good and you messed it up so what he does he's like oh you want a different ending i'll give you a different ending and then right before he slaughters the planet he puts flashes deaths all of his like a bunch of death letters like in real life he puts it up and then says he, here's the ending you wanted he the director I got remember. it okay okay the director said okay this is the ending you wanted and right before it drops. He shows all the death threats he got and said, here's your ending. So, like, that's what makes it great for me. Like, he's like, oh, okay. We can play. People, people. What are we talking about again? Evangelion. So, he, he got death threats and he did what he asked them to do. No, he did what they, like, they said the ending should be different. And he's like, okay, I'll give you a different ending. Oh, so he ended it with the death threats that he received. Right before he kills everybody, he flashed the death threats that he received. Mm -hmm. And then he killed everybody spoiler by the way it's not it's not a spoiler <laughs> i think it's, it's a way... 25 30 year old series like, <laughs> yeah. it's not a spoiler because it it's not quite old. what happens yeah. but like you have to watch but right. yeah he gave it a different ending and then like, i think when i watched it i watched it with that ending and that's what makes it great i think so the original one is considered the actual ending <laughs> yeah okay like the original ending sucks the movie endings the real ending type thing so I could watch the movie then and say that I've seen another of the greats, though, right? Because I can, I can do a, yeah, you can an hour watch and a half of the, anime. The movie, I don't know when, but the, I can. The movie uh, stands alone enough that you could do it. Like you, There's two um, different relationships that you get enough on an idea, but like it would be better if you had saw previous, but everything else is self-explanatory enough that it stands by itself. So is that based in a high school? It's uh, they're all teenage. The the oh. three people who fight are teenage. So it's basically this. So I wasn't really interested in this. So I don't it think. Is, yeah, it's the exact same. I've seen the first episode, and it's the, they 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 do the Harry Potter thing, where it's like you're the only one or you're the chosen right. one. Yeah, they do it way better than because the with this like they have to have been b born on the day something occurred. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like, you actually have, like, like, there's, like, it's not like you're the one via fate. It's you're the one because scientifically you have to be this age and this to have occurred to you. For this to exist. You're saying, like, that thing where babies born in October 
tend to succeed in sports. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. More like... Or it's more like the Zodiac. Babies whose moms were there for the apocalypse. Mm-hmm. And then those babies... Oh, so like you were in the womb during yeah. a comet exploding or something. Something like that, yeah. And you got exposed oh, like to powder. That's cosmic not, rays. It's not like specific, Yeah, like but powder. I'm trying not to like... If someone hasn't seen Evangelion, I don't want to ruin it. But No, no, no. It's right. okay. Once you hit 20 years... Past no. the initial air date, you can spoil it. <laughs> I I would never spoil that for somebody. Okay, I, I want to take a t- take a quick detour here, looking at our stats. Uh, we've did everything that everybody else does pretty much, except for right here we stayed hidden in the closet, or I should say you stayed hidden in the closet. I did. Whereas most or the the strongest majority came out to intervene. So I think. Well, I mean, thirty six and thirty seven percent. Yeah, is pretty plurality. Yeah, that's a larger number. Yeah, thirty seven <laughs> is. Greater than 36. Okay. The greater than equal to sign <laughs> would point from 37 <laughs> to 36. Okay. That's true. All right. I, um, you know what I think it is? Uh, we are old enough to have heard R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet <laughs> song, <laughs> right. and a good chunk, a plurality of the audience, is not old enough. Although, I just, I, God, I wonder who the actual, who's actually playing this game is what I want to know. We um, are. Yeah. So it's like, is it a uh, bunch of click on your friend's stats? We'll oh. find out. Right, we'll find out right now who's playing this game. Yeah, you're gonna find out that your dog called you a noob. Uh, because... I'm the only one. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, well, that answers that question. Oh, I'm totally gonna write him and say, "Oh no, bro, you should totally." <laughs> we can cover their names, right? bruh. Yeah, you can cover whose name? Like when it pops up. <clears throat> You're like, hey, you don't mind sifting through this in its entirety to fiddle with chunks of the video, do you? That's what he's asking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't think it's worth it. No. You can go to the, the, the world stats or whatever. Or no, that's where you are right now. Yeah. You're on yeah. the world stats. This, uh, so Telltale Games does this too in their episodic games. Yeah, they did. They, yeah. I don't know what that's for. Hit Other next. Than like, it's just a fun thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. So you know, yeah. They have the data. It's easy to collect. Yeah, it's true. Mean. Where it's like 16% of people took a photo of David harassing Kate. So those are your sociopaths. Right. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what happens if you hit next? <sighs> okay. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, wow. Wow. Man. Life is just a series of decisions. I was the big minority for the first one. I was, I was 49. I was right. 51. And the second one, for that matter. You didn't help Alyssa. So the you're the sociopath. I think you can see me leading to not caring more and more. Like, you didn't do this either. You didn't water your plant. You, you erased the insults 50-50. I think that's just because, like, no one looked at it. Yeah. It's not like that's the choice that's presented to you. You just happened to turn that way. Hmm. Oh, it was a snow globe. You place. didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test, didn't you? I did. And then really... rewind it back. Fix that oh, one. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, now I got to know what it says. I mean, she kept it. I don't think anyone's like, who? Right. Yeah. Save that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> well, uh,. I would not buy episode two. No, I wouldn't either. Oh, it was a snow globe that you broke. Yeah. Okay. You monster. <laughs> I wouldn't. Or didn't break. Yeah. Should I say? Yeah, I would not buy the second one unless we're doing it for this. Yeah. <laughs> if. <laughs> <laughs> no. I There's too many games out there. How much you know, did this cost? I'm sorry. How much did it cost? $15? 15 That's reasonable. I feel like oh episode God. one came to console $20? Free. I'm not sure. It might be free on console. It might have been free. I don't know. 15 or 20 I, I would say 15 is reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. For this. And for that, I do like the episode game, the episodic game. Right. Thing. Like, if you buy all of the episodes, it'll end up being a regular cost mm-hmm. of a game. Yeah. And you're not and, too committed. At the and yeah, you haven't financially invested into a game that you're not going to want to complete. And that's that's good for us. Um, not quite as lucrative for the developers or publishers. No, I mean when they when they nail it though, like for me, I did. Uh, Telltale releases episode one. They they give a free pilot for each game, and I I did play the first episode of Game of Thrones and instantly bought the season pass. Mm-hmm. And I think that there will be someone, like 
really Judd's gonna get home and subscribe to this. He's just never gonna oh, talk about yeah, it again. I'm gonna like play through it yeah. multiple times until I get the exact parts this, that I want. This will be your holdover yeah. until Persona, Persona. Yeah. No, I I don't get this. I mean, I get the game. I just it's not for me at all. I I think it's important to make that distinction. Is that it might not it. Would you say that this is a bad game? Like, no, objectively a bad game. No, I think it's, it's just a, not for us. I don't. Yeah, yeah, it's not like I don't watch um, too many playthroughs. You know, like I just assume play the game. Yeah. Um, uh, but this would be one I would like to watch the playthrough. Watch would ours. You? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I, you know, this looked like a really solid point and click adventure like that, that genre is making its own kind of comeback. And I think that in itself, it is a great one. Just, I, I feel outside the target audience. Well, you played, you both have played. Is this, how is this compared to the ones that you played? It's, they're more or less identical. Okay. I mean, played what? A telltale series. No, I never have. Well, you, or well, you... no, I take it back. I, I played back to the future, okay. which is kind of like that a little bit. Um, or you watched the Walking Dead one, right? I watched the Walking Dead. Is it like this? They use like a graphic. No. They use cell shading. Mm-hmm. Like they use, I mean, different art style, but right. play style is very similar. Okay, uh, yeah, it's close. It's the same genre. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um. There, I do. I I do recommend Game of Thrones if you don't want to play a high school game, but you do want to play a point and click adventure with mm-hmm. branching storylines. I highly recommend Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. You know what I highly recommend? Day of the Tentacle. Oh, wow. Which is going to be remade that. soon. Is it really? Yeah, well, I should say remastered. Oh, cool. That was another point and click adventure. And Oh, that's the best A la one. Dragon's Lair. That's, no, no, no. It's not like Dragon's Lair. It, it's not? It's, I feel like the art style was similar. Why do I remember that? It's I, the same type of game as uh, LucasArts Indiana Jones, for example, or like King's Quest. Yes. It's that kind of game. I mean, King's Quest was the... Although it's a predecessor to King's Quest. Yeah. So it's not quite as... Well, I have to take that back because King's Quest spans so many years. And you said it's text-based? No, okay. not Day of the Tentacle. Okay. The the original, um, like, Leisure Suit Larry or uh, Hugo's Adventures. Mm-hmm. Hugo's House of Horrors. Yeah, th- those types yeah. of games. They... they uh, I think the the earliest ones, well, not Legend Suit Larry, but the earliest of the Hugo were all text. God, right? they were so hard to play too. Like you oh, had to they quaff are, a potion. They you are didn't very quaff, hard. You weren't mm-hmm. drinking that potion. Exactly, and you died. And it wasn't. You could get on a BBS and find it, but like, what if your parents aren't there to help you log into a BBS? <laughs> You're not gonna find it. And it was like, yeah. ugh. It got to the point where they added graphics, but all of your commands were still typed in. Okay. And that helped it, I guess, a little bit. Nice. So double nice. At worst, I'll read on Wikipedia each chapter's <laughs> uh, conclusion. Rather than why? Because I do want to know how it ends. Oh, but I just don't want to. Wait a minute. Have, have your wife through. play it. She's into this. Yeah, you're engaged in the story, she but she's not... also not into these type of games. Like she's just Are does you not look sure. Yeah. I mean, I can try. Like, no, she just stare blankly. Like, just like, oh, okay. This is what I do. I can try, but I've tried to get her into story driven games and if it's not like she liked Final Fantasy, that's about it. And uh, The Last of Us. But like this, I don't think so. I I wanna say I did try to get her to play a game similar to this and she was like, No, that's not for me. Hmm. Very nice. Okay. Any final thoughts? Ten ten dollar game for me. Ten dollar game. Sure. Ten dollar game, and if each chapter is as long, then all those in like the same quality was like ten dollars for each one. Yeah. Yes. Assuming that it fits what you wanted to do. Right. Yeah. With your day. Mm-hmm. Play style looks solid. So. Yeah. Fans of point and click adventures and teenage girls get down on it. 